All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install Optifine, and then I will also show you how to install shaders. So the simple answer is the first thing you got to do is download Optifine. All you got to do is Google Optifine, and then you will find its website here at the top, optifine.net. Then if you go into here, it'll tell you what all the features are. Optifine optimizes Minecraft to make it run better. So if you go to downloads, you'll see 1.20.1. And then the most recent version that's stable is Optifine HD U15. Go ahead and click on download. That's going to download to whatever folder you want to put it in. Um, this, and this is the installer that'll do all the work for us. We don't, the days of having to manually install Optifine are long over. Then find some, just go ahead and Google shader packs and grab one of these websites here at the top that'll have shaders. I'm going to use BSL shaders here. And then that will allow you to do the stuff with the things. Uh, before we run this program, we're going to need to make sure that we have run uh, Minecraft 1.20.1 .1 at least once so that it's installed on our computer. Now, if you're like me, I wouldn't wanted to be like all cool today. And I was like, I'm going to update my Optifine and put it on 1.20.2. Unfortunately, that one's not out yet. I will do a video when Optifine is available for 1.22. But for right now, we're just going to be rocking 1.20.1. .1. So make sure you install that and run it at least once by hitting play. And then once you get to the menu, where you can see all of the options and it's like the animation in the background's playing where it swirls over the terrain, you're good. You can go ahead and quit out of there. Now it's installed on your system. So once you've got Optifine downloaded, I'm gonna grab that into the folder that it came from. And then let me just get over here. And then so basically Optifine, if I double click on it, as long as we have Java up to date on the system, it should run fine. It should automatically find where Minecraft is installed. And then you can go ahead and click on the install button in order to install Optifine into that folder. If for whatever reason, this doesn't look correct to you because you know you installed Minecraft somewhere else, just click on these three little dots over here, find where it's installed, select it, and then click on the install button. And then it should say Optifine was unsuccessfully installed if it found all the files that it needs to find to put stuff where it needs to go. If not, that might mean that your install location isn't correct. After that, we can go ahead and run Minecraft again. Opening up the Minecraft launcher, you should see an Optifine version of the installed 1.20.1 .1 already set up inside of the launcher once it's done loading. So here we can pull down this little pull down here and we can see Optifine 1.20.1 .1 is available right here. And then we can then hit play. And then I understand that this is a modded version. I'm not gonna worry about that because Optifine has been used for years and we do know that it's good and everyone likes it. And then here, once we're loaded into here, we should be good to go. You can use all of the advanced settings inside of here for Optifine. Um, from here, we should have the option to see shaders inside of our video settings. And it does detect that we have an older version of the BSL shaders, but I'm actually gonna open up the shaders folder and I'm going to delete these. Actually, it's trying to use that other one. Let's just use, let's just turn them off actually. I'm going to turn off my old shaders so it's not trying to use them. And then I'm going to delete the old version of the BSL shaders. And then inside of this guy, this folder, I've got the new version that I'm going to copy and paste into the shader pack folder. And now when I close this, it should show them available for use so I can go ahead and click on them. And then boom, I now have shaders and you can see if these are working or not by simply creating a new hardcore, or not hardcore, but literally any world that you want. We'll just do normal, and we'll just create that. And then once you're loaded in here, you should be able to see if your shaders are working and if they're pretty or not. So once you're loaded in, you should be able to see if your shaders are working or not. 
should be pretty obvious that this is using fancier shadows and graphics and the like to make everything look schnazzier. And if you don't like the shader pack you got, try a couple different ones. There's a lot of them out there. They all do something different. And you might find you like something a little bit less realistic and a little bit more cartoony. Just depends on the person. So once you're satisfied with that, you can just quit back to the title and you should be good to go. You can always go back to your options, video settings, go to shaders and see them in here and turn them on or off as necessary. So anyway, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how to install Optifine and how also to install shaders. Hope you found this useful and I will catch you next time. Bye everybody and have a good one.